No, Mary Agnes McGing. You were a teacher all your life? Yes, I was. Where did you start out teaching? I started in, uh, in uh, Kilmaine first. Kilmaine? Yeah. And how long were you there for? I was uh, on a, there about four or five months. And where did you go to next? I went to uh, Inishark. I was a year and uh, ten months there. And had you many pupils out there that time? And I had fourteen or fifteen, I suppose. Fourteen or fifteen. And how many classes were in the school? Just all the classes. In the one, so you taught, yeah. you taught all the classes? I did. And was it hard to teach all the classes? It wasn't. No, no. so not to jump from one to the other? And no. <laughs> and uh, you stayed on the island, yeah? Yes, I did. And how often would you come off it? I come off it on Easter and Christmas. Yes. So you That's stayed? That's all, I'd get out. Okay. And where did you move to next then after that? I moved to Limask. Then mess school then, yeah? yeah? And how long were you there for? I was there a while, then a year or two. A year or two, yeah. And I went to Limerick then, I suppose. Teaching, training. training in Limerick, yeah. And how long did you spend there about? I spent the month of July each year, or two years. For two years. How long, what years were them about, can you remember? Oh, six, nine or seven times. And where did you go then? I went to Shraheen from Glimas then. I went to Shraheen. Shraheen school, yeah? I was four years in Shraheen. Hmm. And were you living in the area then, you were? I was. You live in, live in Glimask itself? In Glimask. In Glimask itself. Where were you from yourself originally? Ballon Robe. Ballon Robe. And who did you marry? Um, uh, Sonny McGing. Sonny McGing. Where did you meet Sonny McGing? He, uh, he was lodging in Derek's. Derek's in Crowder. Oh, and he lived on the road, yeah? He lived on the road. OK. And did you like it out in Glenmask? Oh, I did. Yeah. I liked it. Lovely spot. Beautiful spot, yeah. And oh, in this um, I... This. What was the last school you taught in? Glenmask. Uh, Glenmask, yeah. Because I closed it. I was mm. the last one to close it. Mm. What was it like teaching in a school that time? Was it easier or harder? Or oh, it to us. Uh, you, you were put in there and mm. you had all the classes. That was it. And was it easy to manage the kids that time? It was. Yeah. They were, they'd obey you all right, they were? Yeah, I was in uh, Roxburgh and Clonliffin then. So you have been in a lot of schools? Yeah. Which I was the most? 20 years in, in uh, Roxburgh. Oh, okay. And I was uh, about two or three years in Clonliffin. Are they near one another? I don't know. They are there. There, yeah. And, um, was there, had you used a little stick that time? The cane was in that time, was it? Oh, it was, I suppose. Yeah. Did you use it much? I suppose. <laughs> maybe I did, and maybe mm. I didn't, I don't know. I suppose an odd one deserved it. Yeah. <laughs> when was the primary cert done? It was done the sixth class, I mm. suppose. Yeah, so when they left, they done the primary cert? They did. They did, okay, right. Yeah. How would you go to school, Lango? How, how would you drive, how would you get to school? Well, uh, when I was going to the National, I used to walk to the school. Had you far to go? I had uh, about two miles. Every day? Every day. I didn't, oh, remember two home and two coma. Two coma, so I kept you fit? Yeah. What kind of subjects were you learning that time when you were going yourself? English and Irish and sums and history and geography. We did them a whole lot. Yeah. And did teaching change much over the years from when you started to when you finished? I did. Did you, did you do a bit of farming? In Glenmask. Oh, I was always out with my husband doing farming, spreading the top each, uh, cut the top in the morning, and I do spread in the evening on each cut, and uh, cutting bags in my own back. To take it out when it's yeah, dry, yeah. Yeah. And he. Did you make the hay? You did. We did. No machinery that time. No, no. Did you rakes with it? Rakes and fox and that thing. And would, would you make the little cocks? Would. Put bags in them. Oh, on top to keep it dry, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Had you a lot of sheep? We had, uh, we had near as much as what we have now. Yeah. We, uh, uh, my husband, he was a good farmer, a good farmer, with cattle and sheep. And But the fellow that's in and now is, is uh, six times that much. Six times. And would you be up the hill? 
well, I, you wouldn't go, no? I wouldn't go. I went up the hill one day to see was the mayor above. And I saw it down for me. I said, thank God she's down there. Mm. I wouldn't be fit to go no further. Yeah, it's a steep hill. It's a mountain up there, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. yeah. And had you good sheepdogs? We had. Yeah. We're, we're poorly ones now. Well, the, the farmers have always have good sheepdogs, don't they? Yeah. They do all the work. They do. They get direction from the bottom, do they? The they do, but they haven't them as good now as they had them that time. Were you ever snowed in in Glenmask? That well, you couldn't get out? In, in, in the big snow. I was in school that time, 96, was it? 47, was it 46 oh, yeah. or 47, yeah? I went to, I was in, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in Castlebar at that time, in boarding school. Yeah, okay. And uh, could you and go? I, we couldn't go anywhere. You had to stay there? We, we, we waited there in the convent. And you couldn't get home? We couldn't get home. And how long did that go on for? Uh, we were kept there all the time until they went away. Well, yeah. How long did that snow for, last for that time? Well, it last six or seven weeks. Yeah, it went on for a long time. I used to hear my father and my husband saying he'd have to have a shovel inside in case you go up. Oh, they were walking outside that time in the walls and they didn't know there were walls at all. The walls were covered? Yeah. So it was up the height of the walls, eh? They were. Up the height of the walls. Mm. And yeah, I hear it was a very tough winter, all right, that time.